Welcome to another episode of Muscle and Fitness Raw with Muscle and Fitness Magazine's Senior Science Editor, Dr. Jim Stepani. Anyone who's ever wanted bigger biceps knows the barbell curl all too well. At least they think they do. However, you may even be guilty of the one mistake that could be holding back your biceps progress. Ask yourself this question. When you do the barbell curl, do you use a shoulder width grip? Most guys, when doing the barbell curl, tend to always use a shoulder width grip. After all, it's the most comfortable grip on the barbell curl. However, when you use a shoulder width grip, like I just demonstrated, you're hitting primarily the short head of the biceps. That's the inner part of the biceps right here. That's fine, however, there's two heads of the biceps, hence the name biceps. Short head, or inner head, and the long head, or the outer head. Now when you flex your biceps, that peak you see is all long head. That's why you want to make sure you include barbell curls that also hit the long head. So how do you do that? Well, the closer you go on your grip, the more long head involvement you get. Anything from shoulder width grip and wider hits more of the inner head of the biceps. So you want to be sure to mix it up by doing a variety of close grip and a variety of shoulder width as well as wider than shoulder width grip barbell curls. A great way to do this is to start your biceps workout with barbell curls. The first set going with a very close grip. And then as the sets progress, doing from three to five sets, gradually allowing your grip to get wider. and wider as the sets progress. For more great tips like this, pick up the latest issue of Muscle & Fitness on newsstands now.